The 79th General Convention of the Episcopal Church taking on some hot button issues in Austin right now. First, more than 70 bishops led an event against gun violence. They say we need to see action and changes to policy to stop mass shootings. One of the families who lost their daughter in the Parkland, Florida shooting took the stage. She was supposed to come home along with the other 16 families that missed their loved ones. Their family calling for increased background checks and better ways to flag people who have made threats in the past. We need to push our legislators and our politicians to make changes, not just talk about it, not just pray about it, not just say that they're thinking about it, but actually do something about it. Just yesterday, gun rights advocates held rallies across the country. Uh, they were called March for Our Rights, and speakers said the country has the ability to prevent violence and also protect the Second Amendment. And after the gun rally here in Austin, attendees of the convention went up to Taylor to see the Don T. Hutto Ice Detention Center. KXN's Alyssa Gord shows us the message they hope to send. It's just outside the Hutto Detention Center, there was singing and there was quiet. And let us pray in silence for all those incarcerated. Immigration advocates say this ICE facility holds female asylum seekers and mothers separated from their children. Convention goers, including April Shentrip, offered prayers. We need to push for change in, in laws that help one another understand that people are, are what's valuable. Their daughter, Carmen, was killed in the school shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Florida. To us, gun violence separated our family. My daughter can't come home to us. And here, you know, same thing. People want a better life. They, they, they strive to come to the U.S. to hope for a better life. And, and here they're being separated, too. And Bishop Michael Curry, a leader in the church, wants more compassionate policies for refugees. Then come together, stop the games. They're children whose lives are at stake and reform this system. Taylor city leaders also showed up. I'm not getting into political debate on this. This is about, again, love, compassion, and empathy, and praying for the well-being of, of some people who are, have fled some very harsh and difficult circumstances. I want them to know and believe that there are people out there that are with them. For those in attendance, this wasn't just about prayer, but action. You are not alone. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. The exact number of children held in custody remains unclear. Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar estimated the number was under 3,000. The Trump administration released a list of almost 100 children under the age of five in custody. Tomorrow, there will be a hearing on whether to extend the deadline for reuniting those children with their families, which is Tuesday. The deadline for all reunions is at the end of the month. President Trump continues to say Republicans will support the men and women of ICE and keep the border safe. He says Democrats want anarchy and chaos, while Republicans, while Republicans want law and order. Trump is calling on Congress to fix what he calls insane immigration laws.